All right, so I just found this dumb little cat on the toolbox, and you know what I really dislike? When I used to start developing, I would have this thing where, like, I would make a model, right? And I would, you know, put parts in it and, and everything. So the only thing this model has is just a part with a face on it, and then these two wedges for the ears, right? That's it. And none of these parts are anchored, by the way. So none of the, yeah, none of them are anchored. And so I would make models, and then I would try to move the model, and then when I would try to move the model, only like one part would move. So I would try and change the position of some part, like this, right? And then one part would move away, but then the rest would stay. And I was like, what the, what the hell do I do, right? Like, even if I run the game right now, you know what's going to happen? Okay, well, actually, no, that's a bad example. Let me show you this, right? Because, okay, fine, it's positioned well, right? But look at this. What? <laughs> like, do you, do you want this to happen to your pet? To your precious uh, cat, I think? Whatever whatever this was? You don't want to do this. You want you Like, how do you make it so that all of these parts stick together? Well, this is actually insane, Lizzy. Uh, the number one thing is every single model has this thing called primary part. So every model has a property called primary part. So what I would do is figure out for you... Uh, okay, I'll just move it back. Oh. <laughs> for you, figure out which part is going to be the, the primary part. So this is kind of the part which everything is going to be attached to, okay? So for this part, it seems to be the body of the cat, which is this, right? So I'll go to the cat. I'll click on primary part, and then I'll select the part. So it makes sense. Like we, like, we probably don't want the primary part to be this ear, right? We want the primary part to be the body. But, okay, so now the cat's uh, primary part is its body. But if I, you know, still run the game and, you know, test it out. Why? No, come on. It's not working, okay? This is where something called a well constraint comes in, okay? So here's how I personally like to do this stuff. Figure out which um, which part is your primary part, okay? So for, for the cat, it's this part, right? And then count all of the other parts which are not primary parts, okay? So 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 like so like emit emit the primary part. So as it as if the primary part doesn't exist, count all of the other parts. So right now there are two other parts, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two weld constraints to the part, okay? So our primary part is gonna have the same amount of weld constraints as there are other parts inside of the model, okay? And then in, inside the weld constraint, you set the part zero to be the part, the, the primary part, right? So you set part zero for both of them to be this part. And then um, part one, you just do all of the other parts. So for this weld constraint, it's gonna be, part one is gonna be this ear. And for this weld constraint, part one is gonna be the other ear. That's it. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> that That's it. There we go. Everything sticks together, right? And another uh, cool thing about this, by the way, as well, is that um, whenever if you if you were to change the um, position of the the cat, I believe because it's welded together, if you change the um, the C frame of the primary part, um, then the other stuff is going to move along with it. So, for example, if I if I say okay, position is equal to let's say seventy five. Yeah, there we go. Amazing. So as you can see now, because it's welded together, because we changed the position of the of the primary part, um, the ears move along with it. But I believe if we change the position of just the ears, uh, oh, it doesn't it doesn't even let me do that? Okay, so yeah, so we, we can't even change the position of the ears. <laughs> it's because they're welded to the part. Um, yeah, so because the wedges are welded to this part, um, then then we are allowed to move this part. Okay. Like so, eighty-one. There we go. We got it. We got a nice little little cat over here. That's basically it, right? So if you ever need to actually, you know, teleport a model, um, but you it, it never worked for you, this is how you do it. Find out, figure out a primary part, um, and then inside the primary part, just add weld add a weld constraint for every other part that isn't the primary part. That's it. That's all you have to do. All right. Um, Oh yeah, hopefully, hopefully you found this helpful. Um, feel free to join the Discord server and check out my course in the description. And we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.